Hi, I'm Gemma from ahan.co.uk and today we're going to be talking about the Xiaomi Mi TV Stick. So let's get to it. The Mi TV Stick is a great option for anyone looking for an Android TV device on a budget. In this review, we'll talk about what features the Mi TV Stick has and how it compares with the Nvidia Shield performance. Thank you to Gearbest for sponsoring this video. Gearbest is an affordable electronics wholesaler that works closely with major brands. There is currently a flash sale for the Mi TV Stick, so if you like what you see in this review, check out the link in the description below. Gearbest offer two variants of the Mi TV Stick. There is a 1GB RAM option and if you need a bit more, they also offer a 2GB version. Gearbest ship worldwide with expedited delivery times. Ali kindly did the unboxing for us, so let's take a look at what comes with the Mi TV Stick. You get a micro USB cable and a European power adapter, which is fine for the US and UK because it's USB powered. You can use the spare USB port from your TV. The device itself is very slim. It's about the same width as a Fire TV stick, but slightly shorter in length. It's an ideal size to take with you if you're going traveling. The remote control is very good quality and well built. It feels sturdy and the buttons have a great tactile feel to them. It has quick launch buttons, for Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. It has a menu back and home key as well as the volume control and standby button. The directional pad is very responsive and does not feel mushy at all. The remote uses Bluetooth 4 connectivity. And lastly, it has the Google Assistant button to pick up speech with its built-in mic. The Mi Stick runs Google's Android TV operating system, which is a tailor-made version of Android for the living room. The interface is what you would expect from Android TV, as it runs Android Pie which is the same as most Android TV devices, such as the Nvidia Shield. There is very little customization of the interface, except for a few tweaks. The settings are largely unchanged. There have been a few additions added, which I'll show you in a second. Unfortunately, the Mi Stick only supports 1080p at 60 frames per second. HDR is not available at all. HDMI CEC control is available, but in a limited capacity. Most of the major audio codecs are supported, however it doesn't look like it supports Dolby Atmos or DTS HD. The Mi Stick comes with 8GB of storage but only around 4GB is usable with no way of expanding that. Within the apps tray, Xiaomi has added a recommendations row. This is the only customization that I have noticed on top of Android TV. The Google Assistant works really well. It recognised my voice every time we used it and we found it to be reliable in every instance. There doesn't seem to be any issue with the integration of Google Assistant and the Live Channels app. If I ask it to play an IPTV channel like BBC One, it would load this perfectly. On the Nvidia Shield, this action doesn't always work. The performance aspect of the Mi TV Stick is a little controversial. Yes, the free tech channel mentions the Fire Stick is faster, but the Android TV operating system is arguably much better than what the Fire Stick has to offer and is a lot more flexible than the Lockdown Fire Stick. We put the Live Channels app on the Fire TV Stick in the video above and the performance is very similar. Comparing the performance to the Nvidia Shield, it's night and day. The Shield can download and install the BT Sport app from the Google Play Store and open it before the Mi TV Stick even finishes downloading. Don't expect this to match the Nvidia Shield's performance. We tested the network speeds from the Mi TV Stick. Even though we have a gigabit internet speed, the Mi TV could only download at around 150 megabits per second. But to be honest, this will be absolutely fine for most streaming services. All in all, the Mi TV Stick from Xiaomi is a well-rounded device that is a great alternative to the Fire TV Stick but it lacks loads of features such as Dolby Vision and has a low resolution of 1080p. Maybe the next Mi TV stick will be a little faster and support 4K. Let's see what Google has to offer when they finally release their Android TV stick. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it as it will really help us out. And if you want to see more videos from us, subscribe now and turn on the notifications. Ciao for now. One last thing, ahan.co.uk is now available on Google News. So make sure you follow us. You can then get quick access to all of our articles and every single one of our videos and even the new download section. This is the quickest way to get to our new content. So make sure you follow us now. I'll leave the link in the description.